Hello and welcome to the Switch Underground. My name is Danny and today we are going to proceed with our Greater Rift. Uh, we are going to do a level 57. Uh, obviously I just I did a level 56 before this with our new build and now it's recommending to me that I do a level 58 because I was too powerful. So what's changed? Uh, we're actually switched away from the Roland's Legacy build and we are doing the Akan build which is a build that focuses on um, the Condemn thing here so which is where you cast this little thing and it sucks people in and blows them up uh, the goal of the build is to constantly keep your Akarat's champion active and so you get increased damage wrath regeneration and all that stuff but I'm missing two key pieces the biggest downfall of this build for me right now is mobility Using the Condemn with Vacuum, it sucks enemies into me, and I can get trapped. If you're moving with this build, you will die. Or if you're not moving, you will die pretty quick. So the way I like to go in is... I, I try to always keep moving. I hit my little armor generating skill. And I just kind of... Keep spamming my stuff. And as you can see, we are hitting in the billions. You see how close I almost died there because I got trapped? You gotta be careful. And you gotta make sure your resources are always getting utilized. So I don't spam it. I don't spam the condemn even because I lose wrath way too fast when I do that. But the good thing is, most everything dies instantly. The problem is that you have to constantly be moving. I do have, there's a pair of boots that allow you to be move unhindered. I have them. The problem is I don't have the set amulet that I would need to actually utilize them properly. Oh god, are we really gonna die? We died. We died. How terrible. Not ready yet. Of course, you do this a hundred times, and you do fine. And then you try to record it for the channel, and you shit the bed. That's just the way it goes. Alright, we're just gonna keep moving here as much as we can. And... Oh, great. Of course, we get to a room that blocks us off. So the cool thing here is that if you have enough wrath, you can actually just keep the build hitting, and everywhere you walk is going to hit with an explosion. So no matter what you're doing, you're just always blowing people up. And getting a conduit here is pretty nice. Another thing I don't really like about this build is it's kind of boring. I mean, look what we're doing here. We're literally walking around, pushing a bunch, a couple buttons and things are just dying. And if you can't rip the Condemned with Akarat in place, your damage is severely limited. It's like, it's more than cut in half. I mean, you'll still kill stuff, but it won't be nearly as good. See, look at all those buildings. That's just nuts, dude. And what am I really doing, walking around? See, this is going to be hard because I don't have Akarats. But the cooldown is almost ready. There we go. Now we will destroy them. See? Just blew up an entire pack of elites with, like, one hit. Is that crazy or what? So a lot of your skills are invested in cooldown reduction, obviously, because... Your success with this build hinges on you being inside the Akarat champion state. See, now they're hitting for the millions, but as soon as I pop this guy, we'll be back in the billions. Let's just try to keep moving. Boom, there he goes. And that little, that little aura there reduces the cost of all of my uh, abilities, which is good. Yeah, this is going to be tough without Akarat's champion popped. And because I because I don't have the actual uh, 
boots that prevent me from getting stopped. I can't hit with my with my resource uh, generating ability, which means that my focus and restraint are being severely underutilized. So I get I get the stacks from using my resource spending abilities, but I don't get my stacks from using the uh, resource generating abilities, which sucks big time. So I'm missing out on a ton of damage. So the solution here is I need one more set piece, which is the uh, amulet. As soon as I get the amulet, I can put the boots on and it will all be good. But as it stands now, I basically just do this until the Rift Guardian gets here and the fight is basically one second. Which is kind of cool if that's your jam. I can't decide if it's my jam or not. I mean, obviously it's going to let me push some insane rifts. I mean, we're just kind of chewing through all this stuff anyway right now. And we'll continue to do so. So I really have no idea what the limitations of this build are. Because I haven't hit them yet. I mean, obviously I died, but that's mostly just because I get stuck. And the goal right now is to figure out how to get unstuck. Not yet. And to do that, like I said, we need the amulet. So it's pretty funny that this entire build and my success of pushing rifts higher than this easily is one piece of gear. I've got everything else. I've got a the unity ring on my follower, and I've also got the unity ring power activated through the cube, which means that my follower and I split the damage. And there's another cool trinket for the uh this follower what is he the crusader the templar right jesus i'm a crusader there's a trinket for the follower that he can wear that's legendary that makes it so he never dies so basically you have infinite sharing of damage if you can keep Ak akarat's champion always active you have billions of damage all the time and if you can keep moving, you're just gonna always win. I don't I don't see how you actually can die. I mean, you would have to be just disgustingly large amounts of damage coming at you, which will probably happen in the greater rifts. Higher up. I'm thinking like the hundreds at this point. Because as long as I can keep moving and nothing stops me, and my Akrat's champion is open, I mean Look at it. I do wish I still had my horse. Say that. I do miss the horsey. Charging around. That was fun times, dude. I mean, it's cool, though. I mean, part of... Part of Diablo is watching everything blow up. And with this particular build, that's all you do. Watch everything blow up. Oh, am I gonna die again? Ooh, this is bad. Hey! Maybe we, uh... Get some stacks. No stacks. It's cool, man. Hey! The Rift Guardian's here. Question is, ooh, I don't have Akarats up. Okay, just to show you, we're gonna wait for Akarats to pop here. Where is he at? Okay, we're gonna pop it. Push this a bunch of times. Oh my god, he lasted three hits. Exciting, right? Uh, we did get some gems. The gems we've been working on is... This one right here, Esoteric Alterations, one that we're using. It's giving us more uh, survivability. So 
supposedly, even though I died twice. So I'm rocking that one, and what's the other ones? Let's see. So that one, and still rocking Bane of Destruction, and the Bane of the Trapped. Stricken's cool because the more you attack an enemy, the more damage you do, and you do extra damage against rift bosses, against bosses and rift guardians, which would explain why they mostly all die in one hit at GR fifty freaking seven, which is insane, absolutely insane. Oh, I was supposed to take a picture of that. I will. Uh, all right. So, is this the moment where I get my amulet? No. No. Last chance. <gasps> no. Shocker. Shocker. So what I do is I roll for the amulet. Never get it. Go here to upgrade rare item. Toss in. Oh, I don't have enough death's breath. Then you. Then then you got that crap because it costs twenty five. So what the cycle is. You run the Greater Rifts, you upgrade your gems, don't get the gear that you need, and then you come all the way back there and realize you don't have the materials you need. So, what does your game look like? The other, this, ooh, these are the boots. The illusionary boots that allow you to move unhindered, which is cool. I should really move them out of there so I don't accidentally salvage them. And then you gotta go run uh, bounties or just normal ass rifts to try to get the enough death's breath to the amulet. Well, let's see what items we got at least. Maybe we got something good. A new transmog. I have a million. Let's see. Ooh, that looks pretty neat. Schaefer's hammer. Casting a lightning skill charges you with lightning. Ooh, it's an ancient legendary too. So with legendaries, they have three tiers, I think. So there's Legendary, which is normal orange, Ancient Legendary, which is what we're seeing here, and then there's something called Primal, which I have never got one of, which I think is part of the... Ooh, that's... The old tried and true Shield of the Steed. Is this an ancient one? No. <gasps> oh, it is an... question is, if I collect enough of the ancient pieces for my old build, should I go back to it? Because I learned that I was kind of playing it wrong. It's a steed build, but I wasn't going into steed mode nearly enough. Nearly enough. Is that an ancient one too? No. Okay, that's it. That was uh, Greater Rift 57 on the now Khan's Crusader build. Obviously, if you have the boots that enable you to constantly keep moving and the other set pieces to complete the build, then you'll be fine and you won't die as much as I did, I think three times. But uh, that's what I'm working with with this build right now is I gotta constantly find little pockets to move in and out of so that I don't get schwacked. And there's a whole bunch of extra shit to do as well, like retooling a lot of the gear for uh res or not resource well resource cost reduction is good but cooldown reduction because i always want to be able to pop my accurate's champion as you saw i only decimate the entire planet when it's active if i don't have it then i only sort of decimate that's gonna do it for me if you enjoyed your time here give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel we'll be doing more diablo the season the season ends in December, December 15th or something like that. I should probably, don't ignore that date, I don't know. It ends in mid-December and restarts probably around Christmas. So when that happens, we're actually going to pick a new class to play for the next season. And we'll continue doing the hardcore, well we, we need to complete the campaign with the hardcore necro. So there'll be probably be less crusader stuff and 100% all necro stuff. And I got a couple more puzzle rings. So we can, uh, yeah, there he is. That'll open up a treasure cave full of goblins. Want to get Scrabble in here? We'll get him rich. And anybody else who wants to join? Uh, I'm just rambling now, so I'm going to go.
Be good to each other, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.